close your eyes and see if you can stay with the breath. It's easy enough to think of the breath for a minute or two and then be gone. But to make a real difference in the mind, you want to stay right here. If any other thoughts come in, you don't have to pay them any attention. You don't even have to chase them away. Think of them as like crazy people. Crazy people comes and talks to you. He wants your attention. And if you give him enough attention to try to drive him away, he's got you. So you just keep on doing your work and pretend that the crazy person isn't there. And after a while, it'll, you'll start saying crazier things. And if you can maintain your determination, you're not going to go with the crazy person, then he starts to weaken. So the breath is always right here, no matter how loud the noise is outside, no matter how many voices you have in your head. You can still feel the breath coming in and going out, so trying to make that your anchor. And see how much you can be in touch with that, not only while you're here sitting with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. Because a mind with an anchor is a mind that's more secure. Storms can come from the, the ocean, and if the anchor is strong, you don't get blown around. You get blown around a little bit, but nothing to do any damage. But if you don't have any anchor, it can drive the ship right into the coast up against the rocks. So there are storms blowing around outside, and of course there are storms in your head. So you want to make sure that you don't get caught by them. You do need a good anchor. You need to get your sails down. In other words, you look at how you bring in information from outside. I was reading yesterday about a problem called internet addiction, where people just want to know everything that's out there. Well, of course, it's impossible. It's just so huge. And if there's this impulse that if there's some piece of news out there that they haven't heard yet, there's something wrong. I mean, there's so much that we could possibly know that's of no use to us. This is why the Buddha, even though he gained awakening to a whole forest full of leaves, he taught only a handful of leaves. The part that's essential for putting an end to suffering, putting an end to stress. So it's the same way in your life. There's a lot of information out there that you just don't need to know. Just take down your sails. Our ears is usually like huge, two big sails just to catch everything. Well, then we get blown around. So take down the sails. Make sure your anchor is firm, and then you'll be safe, both when things are calm and when things are stormy.